wonderful. Trust me. Um, the other piece, and this ties in with our communications audit, is that on the consent agenda tonight was the next phase beyond the audit, beyond getting the word out about our CTEs, but to take a look at how North Smithfield is perceived by the community, uh, by students, by parents, and we're running through a branding exercise. It, it, it involves uh, focus groups, it involves surveys, and it's to bring out the information, what do you think of North Smithfield? When you see and hear North Smithfield, what do you think of? And that is then in turn going to inform our media. What does our environment look like? How do we wrap this into customer service, customer satisfaction, uh, our advertising, word of mouth, you know, basically what makes North Smith Smithfield special and how can we continue to assure that it remains that way and we project that outward. So we're taking a lesson from businesses, from the marketing world, and applying it to education. We're about more than making students smart. We also have a lot of customers in town that we need to make happy. So this is the next piece of it. Now, we are in the process of revising our district strategic plan. I hold, held off a bit. The, the core of it is written, has been sent out for a lot of eyes to vet. Uh, uh, we had a, a survey that went out to the entire community, to parents, to teachers, to you know everyone that we could blanket to get input on our strategic plan. I'm gonna hold a bit while we go through the communications and the marketing exercise because we are gathering even more valuable information uh, and opinions and ideas and solutions that we can then roll into the strategic plan. So everything right now is interconnected. And that's it. I'm going to hold the next thing because we have a section on new business. I just want to revisit and I have a slide that will help us right now. I don't know if you want to go into new business or, uh, or if you have any questions or follow up. Does anybody have any questions? I'd just like to say that I thought the report that Mark and Associates put together was phenomenal. The, the little things that they brought up so spot on of things that we should be doing. Um, you know, it, it, and, I, and I agree from from the big things that we need to take a look at and how we need to make our messaging more consistent, how we need to anticipate uh, parents' needs. And, and, and there are just so many simple things that we've already picked up from this. For example, typically, Schools will send a back-to-school notice to parents several weeks before school begins. Here's what you need to get. Here's what you, you know, to expect. We were, you know what? We do that at the beginning of the summer because parents are busy. They go on vacation. Uh, they work for sales, you know, for school supplies. So just simple things like that. So we know that at this time of the year, this is something that happens a month prior we send out the information, the updates, and uh, uh, just just a lot of good, simple things that we can be and should be doing and will do. I would just like to say that I was actually at one of the meetings that, um, that was held, and I was very excited when I left there because um, they have some wonderful information, some wonderful ideas, and the thing that really, um, that I liked the best, I think, was they are going to improve communication um, between school and home and between school and community. So that if you're in kindergarten, you'll also know a little bit about what's going on in high school. So you can see where your child is going and what um, you can expect in the future, the good things that happen. Right. I was very, very it, And a lot of that is, it, it, it's about telling our story. Absolutely. And to help tell the story, we've actually had a uh, uh, contractor through, through the company, a, uh, a video crew going through the high school, and they are producing a professional video uh, to tell the, the story of the high school, to celebrate its accomplishments, 
uh, to inform about the CTEs. And so, and, and we're looking to take that type of thing and expand it. But one of the things I'm, I'm most excited about, I, I took the communication audit and I sent it to the high school to have the marketing students go through that. And so they're doing an analysis of the audit and I'm looking forward to meeting with them for a debrief and then start mapping out next steps that also include uh, the students. Ask you if you could share that report with the budget committee. That was one of their very specific things that they brought up to us that we weren't um, marketing ourselves very well. And I'd, I'd like them to see the report. I think it's important that they they see it. Very good. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah. 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 You did that. That's good. Well, what was exciting to me is that we have such a good story to tell, and it's nice to know that it's going to be out there. And even when we had the focus groups with the students, they started getting more animated and excited. And uh, it, it, it's just been a, a wonderful exercise to go through. So uh, just a quick question. Just like, for me, one of the disconnects has always been the like, means, which is you know, this big umbrella music mm -hmm. uh, parent organization and the NSA, right? And those are the two that can really kind of bring the parents mm -hmm. together. And you know, NSA, you don't know anything about that until right. you get to the high school. Is that sort of on their periphery that there's maybe a way to try and figure out how to connect those across the K-12 spectrum well, and throughout the community? Th th there are. I mean, right now it's about um, solidifying our communications uh, timetable and mechanisms to make it transparent and accessible and easy to tell our story. However. Uh, I have spoken to them about going outside of what we, our, our walls. So for example, and, and I know this is a, a, a private business, um, Kids Club is, has a wonderful after school program at NSES. We have a number of families who may choose to send their children to a charter school because it starts at 8, ends at 4. It has, you know, an extended day. It has after-school activities. We offer that, right? But maybe not in a way that we have promoted. And, for example, Kids Club is also uh, revising their programs, and they're going after a five-star, bright-star rating, which is phenomenal for PK and, you know, after-school support programs. And if they're able to score a four or five star program tied to all the great things that are happening with NSES, uh, that's part of the story. So yes, uh, it, it, it is, is to bring in that community element as well. So whether it's means or the NSAA or, or any organization that's part of telling our story. business. Um, Lisa, 19 operating capital budgets. What was the operating budget? We assume uh, we're going to be um, close to breaking. Very close. So you can't report a $300,000. Definitely won't be a $300,000. Anybody have any questions? Going to the fiscal year 20 uh, operating and capital budgets. Um, before, does anybody have the dates that the council, at the top of their head, is having hearings so that so at least we all know about it? Yes, I will send them out to all of you. Okay, great. You yeah. have them on our activities calendar. June 3rd is Monday. The budget committee is presenting to the town council. public hearing for the budget for the town. They are also meeting Monday, June 17th to be di begin discussions of the budget. Then they have two dates, the last week of June, I believe Tuesday and Wednesday, but I'll, I'll verify that, um, that they're Tuesday and Wednesday? Uh, that was the 25th, uh, 17th, 25th. 17th is the Monday, right. and they have two the last yeah, week. Yeah, 25th, also. 25th, I think, yeah. Yeah. 
after the Memorial Day weekend. Uh, no. Yes. No. June. <laughs> Let me get one month for you. Mm -hmm. June. It's, there's two days the last week of June. They're hoping to decide the budget on the first evening, but they look to just in the event that they don't get through the whole thing. But I'll send those all out to you tomorrow. Uh, in just for the record, I, 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 on Monday morning I met with Gary uh, to try to understand what uh, he was presenting uh, recommending to the council. Um, basically, he's recommending a 2.5% increase and $170,000 of capital. Um, I asked him if, which, which relates to us as a 0.48% increase in our budget due to state aid cuts. I asked him if he could help us out a little more, and unfortunately, when you add in the new bond payments, and I'm just going off the top of my head, we're probably raising about 1.1 million. I think we're getting, I mentioned, 800,000 dollars in that. So I don't know how much more we could ask from the town in regards to this area. There's two hopes. One is maybe we can move, and I hate to do this, but maybe we can move some money from capital uh, over to our budget, our operating budget. And the second thing is um, state aid to education, although highly unlikely, um, could increase. So we're hoping that it does, otherwise we're uh, going to have a tough budget. They said, I, what Gary was mentioning is that there are a number of there are a number of decreases in the town taxes. I guess the big taxpayers moving, uh, so they're in a hole right off the bat. And I think you know that that we're getting a fair share. I would obviously never ask uh, to exceed the cap. Uh, I think we're getting a fair share, so I'm a little disappointed. I'm, you know, obviously we're doing well in that aspect. But Disappointed um, on the state aid cuts that are really hurting us. Uh, we're going to keep trying. Uh, anybody have anything on the 20 budget? We'd like to ask if you could schedule a special meeting that last week of June to finalize the budget and also to do um, some invoices.
we were at our last meeting, we did send a letter um, to, or we voted to send a letter, we sent it, uh, the request awarding that uh, $100,000 contract uh, for a needs assessment. Uh, I, first, I didn't get a response, but not that I expected one, but I don't, I don't believe they went forward on that.